First, in this lesson plan, I'm going to go over basic blocks, the first ba uh, uh, five basic blocks. Inside block, outside block, high block, low block, and nighttime block. Uh, now, a lot of uh, my students know these blocks, know them really well, but we have a couple of new students who joined us before the pandemic hit us, uh, joined us after the first lockdown, and now we've gone into a second lockdown. So during the pandemic, we all need to do our best and keep practicing. So here's a reminder for those people who are not so good with their uh, basic blocks. So we're going to start with the low block. Right leg back, low block, H, and up. Left leg back, low block, H. So that's low block, and up. It doesn't necessarily always work as a low block. You can actually apply low block to inflict um, pain by attacking to a lower part of the body of the opponent. We've done a video for that, but not in this one. Now we're going to do high block. Right leg back, high block, H, and up. In Japanese, this one is called Jodan Adyoke. And that H and up. Now we're going to do inside block. In Japanese, it's called Chudan Uchuke. H and up. The other side. H and up. Now we're going to do outside block. Chudan Sotoke. H and up. And the other side. H and up. Now we're going to do knife hand block. Shutoke. Uh, H and up. And we typically do knife hand block with back stacks. One more, the other side, H, and up. Now, uh, we typically do uh, uh, back stands um, in the form of uh, getting into a defensive position. Uh, if someone's grabbing me, trying to throw me, I'll immediately go into back stance. It gives me a de defensive posture. Uh, so we usually do knife hand block with back stance. So now we're just going to do uh, an application of uh, our bunkai of uh, a couple of these blocks to show you how you can actually use them either as block or a combination of block and attack. So this, my opponent attacks, I block, and then I do a high block in the form of attack. Now, or he attacks, I do a high block, turn it around, and then hurt the elbow by pulling my arm down. Or he attacks, I do an inside block and then move forwards and do an outside block. At this point, if I know Aikido, I can turn around and throw him. Obviously, I'm holding him to his arm because I don't want him to go through the door. Very good. Yes. And this is the lesson plan for today. Uh, if I see that you like these videos and you're practicing them at home, then I'll add more. Yes. Yes.